I hate repeating myself, even if I'm making a sequel. I'm gonna do my own thing. It's not only just not interesting for me as a challenge, it's not interesting for the audience. We essentially took a ton of comic books and we laid them all out on a table and we said, which of these worlds do we want to go into? It's like we made, you know, five or six different films in one film. This is unbelievable. The looks that we had to achieve on this film are so varied. It allowed us the freedom to, to take on the big challenges, to look at all the big problems that, that were common to all worlds and all characters that we were working with. We were sort of building the track as the train was rolling. We were inventing technology that would support the creativity of this film, the artistry of this film. One of the wonderful things about the use of technology in this film is technology is used in service of emotion and in service of character. We were trying to push computer graphics away from being something that looks overtly digital looking and trying to invent new tools to capture the essence of that hand-drawn style. We created a tool called Kismet that can recreate ink lines in different styles. Within that tool set, there's a lot of control for dialing the amount of lines, the thick, thin, the how offset the lines are from the surface. You can get much more organic than you would with a, a kind of like the previous methods of doing it. Miles, want to get out of here? Oh, Gwen? The creative vision for Gwen's world, we always describe it to one another as a mood ring. The entire world reacts to her emotional state. Visually, that required a very different look, a very different dynamic. Um, we used a lot of watercolors. It was basically meant to evoke a painting. We discovered this really cool um, application called Rebel, and Rebel has this ability to simulate watercolor, and we had to figure out a way of using it within animation. It was a challenge, and you have to be ready to fail a lot. <laughs> That's not funny. But the failing is really what leads to the successes. That's one of, I think, the secrets of the collaborative process, is that you have to give people room to make mistakes. I really went into every record, every edit session, everything I had to do with that kind of mindset, which is don't be afraid to do it wrong. As a filmmaker, as an artist, it's awesome working at Sony because they've always encouraged me to take risks, to always try new things, and never have they ever balked at some of the craziest ideas. It gave us the freedom and the liberty and the kind of support to really push the tools and experiment. It's this alchemy of where technology meets creative energy, those forces coming together. You've got artists, you've got animators, you've got people with amazing technical abilities, and you bring them all together, and you can just create this concoction of just amazing work.